Sometimes you want to call attention to a specific area of the screen while still having a broader context of what's happening. And so in this tutorial, we're just going to learn how to build a video callout like this using track mats and good old Camtasia callouts. So let's do this from scratch. So what I've got on the screen here or on the timeline is uh, just a screen video. I've got three markers here to help me out as I build this tutorial, just key points that I want to use. First off, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this piece of media. So Command C, Command V. And I now have it on my timeline. I'm going to move it all the way back to the very beginning of this track. Get lined up there. So perfect alignment. If we zoom back out on the timeline, you can see everything's lined up there nicely. I'm going to use uh, some keyboard shortcuts here just to bounce around in markers. So I'm going to go to that first marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this guy up, delete him, and then I'm going to bounce over to this last marker. And again, do a split, delete that piece of media. Okay, so I've got an exact duplicate of just this chunk of time of what's going on in the screen video here. And you can see there's no real difference here because I haven't manipulated this particular piece of media. It's still like the exact same XY position, still the same scale. Well, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and make this 100%. And we're going to reposition this guy right here just so we can find the area really easily that we want to blow up. So. 100% scale, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my annotations tool bin, and I'm on the callouts tab, and I'm just going to grab this guy right here and drag him down and make him the same length as that chunk of media there, right? So I've got this guy, and now what I want to do is I just want to start positioning him. So I'm going to be a little bit careful here. And just make sure I get exactly the right area. I'm going to grab this tail and stuff him over on the side here. Yank this guy down and then put that tail back in right above here. Okay, so all out. Now, the next step is we're going to actually copy that call out. And Command C. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert a track below, right? And double click on this to move the playhead out to the beginning of that clip and command B. And we now have an exact duplicate of this callout in the exact same position, right? I'm going to go ahead and group these guys up. And I'm going to drill into that group. And this top one we're going to use as a track map. That will isolate it. So Alpha track map mode. And you can see instantly, if I go out to the main timeline here, I now have this group that I can grab a hold of and reposition where I want it to be, right? So the mouse is going to move into position right about here in this area of the screen recording, and I want to call that out. So let's move it up just a little bit right there. Looks good. So you could be done at this point if you wanted to, but we're going to do a couple of things here, right? So first off, we're going to go over to Transitions. And I'm actually going to go into my favorites because I already have this one saved. Pixelate. And I'm going to drag that to the middle of the clip. And that's going to put a Pixelate transition on either end of this clip. Okay, so I've got a nice entrance in and out. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, why did I have that second callout on the bottom of this stack in this group? Well, it's because we're going to use it as a drop shadow and how we're going to animate our tail. So I'm going to go ahead and get my drop shadow, which I've got stored in my favorites, but normally you'd find that in visual effects. I'm going to go over and grab my drop shadow, and I'm going to throw this on him. I'm going to change the light 
direction. I'm going to increase my offset maybe up to something like 18, 19. That looks good. Now, because this is such a dark background, I really want to increase the opacity here. We'll crank it up to something like uh, mid 70s, somewhere in there. And then for the color of the drop shadow, I'm actually going to make this pure black. And you can see now this thing is starting to pop off the screen. So let's see it lifts up and gives it some separation. So that's the look I'm going for there. And we're also going to do something on this where we're going to change the color of this because we're going to animate this tail. And what I'm going to do is come over to the Callouts tab in the Properties panel, Annotations tab, I should call it, and go into the color, fill color, Grab the picker, and I'm just going to use the blue from this interface element right here. The selected state. Okay, so that's the color I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this guy. And you can see I can still see markers here on uh, that duplicated piece of media. I'm just going to jump to that second marker there. Okay, I've got this piece of media selected. I'm going to add a custom animation, the keyboard shortcut. Normally you'd find that in the annotations tool bin. We're gonna zoom in on our timeline. And let's check out this animation here. It is 20 frames long. It's a 60 frames per second project, that's good. Animation easing, exponential in and out. That's what, it, why, what I want to do. And what I'm going to have it do is I'm going to go to the first super keyframe or the end super keyframe of that animation. And now I'm going to come over and you can see right here, there's this little dot. That's the tail. And I'm just going to pull the tail out of this guy, kind of 90 degrees. And just get him pointing out exactly where I want to see the impact of what I'm adjusting in this properties panel, right? Click off that so we can see it. Yep, that looks good. Now, this animation, you can animate tails of callouts. And it looks like that tail is actually sticking out just a little bit. So I'm going to move it back a little bit uh, on the first keyframe. And we're good to go. So let's pop out of this. Zoom back on our timeline. We're going to watch this and see what we've got. There you have it. Just a couple of minutes, we've got a sweet video blow up. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hope you're enjoying Camtasia 2020.